Hi, Hiram here. Last couple of days I've been doing tests on these fancy feast stoves. This is a carbon felt wick stove made out of a cat food can and a six ounce tomato paste can where I stuck it down in there. I cut it to a size that the pot is one inch off of where the carbon felt is. I just got done doing a video where I showed how I thought it was necessary to have this vent hole in here so that the vapor pressure didn't build up in this you know with the pot stand on top that the vapor pressure would build up in here and force alcohol out through the carbon felt that was something that uh, Trail Hound requested I also got another comment from Mato New Pie where she said why not try the stove with a three quarter inch gap instead of the one inch gap um, I bet one ounce of alcohol would burn longer my Mahalo has a gap of a half an inch and it's a miser on fuel and still a decent boil time I'm gonna have to get one of those Mahalo stoves and give that a try but I thought while I had this burner that I used on the last video uh, I'd modify it and try the three quarter inch so what I did was I cut the can down, I'll throw that piece away, cut it down, it's about three quarters of an inch from the carbon felt to the bottom of the pot, and in this one I put four smaller vent holes in there. So let me get my water prepped, and I'll be right back for a quick test. Okay, my water's at 60 degrees, two cups of it, let me light this. And there we got the flame. So two cups of water, setting at 60 degrees, and let's see where this goes. We're now on two minutes. It's up to 104 degrees Fahrenheit. I think that's a little bit slower than the other one. Um, I think you can see it looks like a fairly, it looks like a smaller flame, of course, but uh, nice and blue. So let's see where it goes from here. There we have 210. To 11, to 12, and 7:36, seven minutes 36 seconds. On the first test that I did with this, with the one-inch space, it took two cups of water starting at 60 degrees, five minutes and 13 seconds to get to boil, and this time it took seven minutes 36, so a little over two minutes more. Let's see how long it goes for run out. The flames are going. Let's see if it waits to 13. It's going. The wicking is just about out. It's just some flames coming out of the jet holes, the vent holes rather. Still going. <laughs> going pretty strong out the vent holes. Okay. This is just going to drag it out, isn't it? Okay, the temperature water is dropping. It was up to 213. Still just the vent holes burning. Okay. All right, something drop here. Okay, drop, let's say, 1335 for a run out. So that's like four minutes plus for that okay and then once you take it off then the inner I don't know if you can see that the inner part starts burning so what we have there was this time with the about three quarter inch between the wick and the bottom of the pot two cups of water starting at 60 degrees came to a boil in seven minutes 36 seconds uh, the previous test with the full one inch took five minutes 13 so that's about that's almost two and a half minutes longer and then run out here was 13 minutes 35 seconds and with this one one fluid ounce ran out at nine minutes so that's what a little more than four minutes extra there <clears throat> if that's what you were looking for I mean that might be great for doing food when you're out camping 
you're really not in a rush to get things done. But what I was looking for on this was a hot flame because uh, this was mostly going to be used in the winter and snow and stuff for melting snow. So I wanted something that cranked out the heat. I'll have to drag these two out come winter and uh, see what the difference is between them. But as far as this goes, I guess either one is a, a good stove for what you want to do. I just wanted to boil or wanted to melt snow and ice and that one would do for cooking. Uh, like I said on the other video, you have to check out, and I'm sorry, I don't, Cole Craven, unless it's Cole C. Raven, Cole Craven, did an interesting video where he used hardware cloth for his stand here. That way you don't have to worry about vent holes. But he also made a simmer ring. It, the cap would come down over this, and it would just burn on the inside in a simmer type mode might be interesting to try building one of those and see what that does but I'll leave a link down below for his video you should check it out uh, I hope this answers <coughs> excuse me I hope this answers uh, Mado New Pie's question I thank her for her input her comment request I thank you for watching I look forward to your input questions remarks helpful suggestions and as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.